But I am fascinated to hear how you explain that, that cutting income tax rates, particularly, let's face it, for the richer, the more wealthy Americans, to the tune of well over $3 trillion, how that is the wise thing to do at a time of massive deficit and spiraling national debt. Okay. okay. The problem we have, you keep talking about debt, and I understand in the United States that's what Democrats talk about in order not to spend, to talk about deficits rather than spending. The problem we have in the United States is that government spends too much money. The Democrats, the liberals, the big spenders, the, the, the advocates and lobbyists for spending programs in the United States, they say, oh, we don't have a spending program. We just don't loot the peasants enough to get enough money in here to give to our friends. Okay? So we have a Un we have a deficit problem which we'll fix by raising taxes. The problem America has, and the good news is for Romney, and the reason the polls show him doing better than Obama, is among other things, the American people understand that we have a spending problem, not a tax problem. We spend too much. And the only way to fix a spend too much problem is to spend less. We know what Obama's plans are. He walked into office and threw $800 billion of spending on the table. Then he added a trillion dollars through the budget process over the next decade. Then he put in a government-run health program, Obamacare, which will cost trillions of dollars per decade as it's finally phased in. They phased it in slowly because each part of it is so unpopular, they didn't do it early. You'd think if, the, if they thought the American people would like it, they'd do it right now yeah, and they see the how cool is... we are. The problem is, though, all of it. Uh, the problem is, Mr. Norquist, that, that independent tax economists who have studied the Romney-Ryan plan say that the math simply does not add up. It will not work. To quote Martin Sullivan, chief economist at Tax Analysts, who says, quote, the plan cannot work. It's not mathematically possible. Okay. Let me give you some numbers for your, list, for your viewers to keep in mind. If... Over the next 10 years, the United States grows not at 2% French rates, but at 4% Reagan rates. If it, you grow at 4% a year instead of 2% a year, you do that for one decade. You increase <laughs> revenue that, from what you otherwise of, have by of a $5 big if, trillion. If so. dollars. It's a heck okay. of a big well, if. Well, Reagan did it. Okay. okay. The point is... You want revenue, have growth. You get much more growth out of revenue than you do out of taxes.